Hello, my beautiful, beautiful subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everyone is doing well. I feel like this might be a month for lots of sit downs and chit chats videos for sure, considering what is going on right now with this crisis. So my heart definitely goes out to anyone that has been affected or just anyone that deals with self-isolation anxiety. So if you are one of those people, you have my full support. I love you so, 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 so much. You are amazing and you are already whole on your own. You don't need anyone to validate that. And just know it is your human birthright to be loved and cherished. But anyway, hopefully we can all become closer with this little YouTube family and uh, have our connection grow more stronger. Let me know if you want me to do any routine or advice videos down below, comment. I'm totally down. <laughs> anyway, today I thought it'd be a very fun opportunity to whip out my old, well, this is an old. Honestly, I had this for like a few years. Years. I just never used it before because I had acne. So this is the first time I actually get to use it It's just been sitting in my drawer So I thought this would be a perfect time to start derm rolling because this is the first time I've ever done this in like literally two or three years. It's been a while. I don't even know We'll just say three years. But anyway, I'm going to be using this 0.25 millimeter. So how to derm roll? I've done it many times before. Basically, you need to make sure everything's sterilized, make sure your hands are very, very clean, make sure your face obviously is freshly washed, and all you're gonna be needing is a derm roller, isopropyl alcohol to kill all that bacteria, really disinfect it, and then uh, a vitamin C serum to put on on top to penetrate deep into the layers of the epidermis. <laughs> That's what it's called. My favorite way to clean one of these, because you have to clean it before and after use. So I'll take a bit of my alcohol and I take a clean used old makeup cap. So I use this specifically to clean my Zermarola and then you literally just dip it, dip it, dip it, dip and it covers everything very, very nicely. And then I leave it in for about like a minute, maybe 30 seconds. And it just really, really, really sterilizes everything because you are making micro needle punctures in your skin. So, um, you know, you gotta make sure you take precautions and just make sure everything's super, super clean. And then I would say you have to leave this dry for about a half an hour. So I'm gonna come back. And then after, once this is completely, completely dry, then that means um, it's ready to go. The thing that it comes in, I leave this facing up up in this little bed because literally nothing touches it perfectly fine to dry on its own and then I'm just gonna set that down for a little bit and then wait for it to dry <laughs> and then I should come back and um, we're going to experience this for the first time in literally years so I am so 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 nervous but anyway we will all experience my uh, confusion together I do have a couple outbreaks though I have one here and here I'm obviously not gonna derm roll on those areas because if you derm roll over top of any pimples or acne, like active acne breakouts, you could actually risk spreading that bacteria and then causing more breakouts or just damaging that area. So just leave that out. And yeah, we'll be back. And yeah, <laughs> we will be back. And yeah, I will see you uh, once this is completely dry. Everything's back in business. It has been about 20 minutes and everything seems to be dry. So we're just going to just go straight into this. Also, don't follow as I do. I'm no professional <laughs> when it comes to this. I just know I've been doing this for a long time back in the day when I had a perfectly clear skin. I just did this to improve my overall skin texture and stuff like that. So anyway, when you do this, you wanna go in four or five directions, up and down, side to side, this way, crisscross, like an X formation. <laughs> and you don't wanna pull either. You wanna just like place on top very softly and roll. I forgot how this felt. This feels so weird. <sighs> This feels so like uncomfortable. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm torturing my skin. <laughs> well, I honestly forgot how I managed to deal with this pain. Again, it's supposed to improve overall skin texture and uh, elasticity of the skin. And also, yeah, you don't wanna like go like this, right? You wanna like go one motion up, one motion up when you wanna like move somewhere never like drag it and that is pretty much all i remember I, you know of course do your own research you are doing this at your own risk <laughs> oh my gosh i'm probably not gonna do as much though oh my god <laughs> i'm just not used to this and i'm so tired it's literally <laughs> it's exactly 12 a.m right now <laughs> i'm so tired but 
I've just had like homework. I'm having like online school. I graduate school next week, which is so sad because it's like for my graduation, it's not like a thing anymore. They said that they might hold something towards the end of the year. Obviously, if things are still good to go. Oh yeah, I definitely feel this. Okay, so I think I'm good with my up and down movement. Okay, now we're gonna go side to side. Okay, you kind of you kind of get used to the pain. You embrace the pain. I don't understand how I used to do this like every second day with 0.25 millimeter. 0.5 millimeter do like once a week, like at most. But some people do 0.25 millimeter every single day, which is like pretty excessive. At most, I would do maybe like once every second day, once every third day with a 0.25 millimeter because it is pretty intense, especially when you're first starting out. Maybe just start once a week. But I definitely want to know what this will do to my skin over time i don't know if i'll be committed just yet to do it regularly because i still have like some pimples to get rid of because you never know just to take precautions you don't want to risk again transmitting any bacteria even though i'm not touching those areas but to be safe i feel like that would be the best solution <laughs> okay and then diagonal so we're gonna go this way oh my god girl but yeah like at one point when i had really bad acne i had a bunch of scarring i used this and it really 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 helped my skin and just builds it back up just makes it so much more thicker. <laughs> I forgot if I did it both ways. But yeah, this is what currently my skin's looking like. So it is a bit red. Obviously, it's gonna always get a bit flushed and red from doing this sort of thing. I do feel it like kind of prick my skin. Okay, I feel like now I'm just very, very like excessive now. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring it down my neck just because I never washed it and also I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> so after, this is the time you can use your vitamin C product. Yeah, take any old uh, vitamin C see serum basically and uh, smear away <laughs> and this is supposed to definitely help clear up any scarring obviously like you have to do this continuously you can't just do it one time and then it's gonna magically you know solve itself it's always nice to uh i don't know what i was gonna say <laughs> it's always good to good to lather up on the vitamin c anyway and then you would just continue with your regular skincare super nourishing ingredients and then yeah dip it back into the alcohol one more time just so you can sterilize it before you put it back in its cage cage <laughs> This key, put it back in your case. <laughs> oh my god, back in its case. <laughs> um, because yeah, you don't want any bacteria brewing in it. And yeah, this alcohol is super, super potent, so it will kill literally everything. Also, I have been using this to like clean all my knobs and door handles and stuff like that because this is basically what's in like hand sanitizers. Um, this is like heavy duty stuff. <laughs> Just a side note, because I see a lot of like wet wipes and stuff and Lysol wipes people are buying and I'm like, that's so wasteful. Literally just buy something like this and then get reusable like cloths and then clean everything with this. It's so much more strong too. And there's not like other additional weird chemicals. So I have to ask for it at the pharmacy counter. They don't just like have it laying out. <laughs> anyway, that's a side note. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would bring you on this experience of me derm rolling for the first time in literally like three years. I forgot how prickly it was. And mind you, I used a 0.5 back then. This is only 0.25 and these are super, super tiny. So I don't know how I managed to do it. It's so cool because you literally feel yourself like it feels like you're actually doing something good for your skin as long as again you're making sure everything's sterilized and you're not like dragging your skin pulling anything you're like wrist scraping or scratching and also i would not recommend wearing makeup for like 24 hours after doing this and also don't put any harsh active ingredients other than like vitamin c and maybe like a nice moisturizer i would keep it super simple and make sure you wear your spf during the day that's all the maintenance you really have to do because your skin is super super sensitive to sunlight honestly i would even recommend just staying inside i mean i guess now since we're all staying inside um it's perfect time to derm roll because who knows what chemicals are in the sunscreen unless if you know that it's like completely natural so just like wear a hat if you go outside but yeah that's pretty much all about hopefully what you need to know about derm rolling i don't know if i forgot about anything. Anyway, I just thought I would try this out for the heck of it. Thank you all for, for joining me. With that being said, um, <laughs> I guess that's it. I, uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of me. 
I post every Sunday and Thursday. I might consider posting a bit more just because of what we are dealing with currently right now. And if any of you need anyone to talk to, definitely message me on Instagram. I wanna try my best to get to messages because I feel like I've been lacking on that recently. And also, if you just want company, um, yes, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe. And I could do some sit down chit chat videos. So comment down below what you want me to talk about so we can connect. And yeah, subscribe to my second channel because for all you don't know, uh, my name is Sonia and I'm a music producer and I produce music and I am currently working on my first single. So uh, please subscribe down below to that second channel. If you are into like EDM pop stuff, <laughs> happy upbeat kind of music, then that is the place for you to subscribe to. It would mean the world to me, of course. And I hope you have a good day, good night, wherever you're watching this. Lots of virtual kisses and hugs and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, <laughs> peace.